Come on. Come on, get it. Nice, come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on, get it. Nice, come on. Yep, hand up there. Come on. Yep. Nice. I'm a rock climber and a software engineer. I've been climbing for nearly 22 years. I get a deep sense of satisfaction whenever I achieve a personal goal, whether it's in climbing or my job. Finding the right work-life balance to achieve my climbing potential while holding down a demanding corporate job, it takes incredible focus, determination, and a lot of sacrifice. It can be a struggle to wake up super early to climb before work but it helps to stay focused on the big picture of what I'm trying to achieve. I've been doing this since 2005 in what we call alpine style sport climbing. Not many people want to make this early morning commitment, but I'm thankful for the great people I've met who are motivated and encouraging. We inspire each other to do our best and try not to take each other too seriously. A bonus to our morning adventure is that we usually are the first ones in the parking lot and have the wall to ourselves. Squeezing and climbing before work means we have to hustle to get in as much climbing as we can before we need to pack it up and race back to the car. I can get a few well-rehearsed warm-ups in and maybe one or two good burns on my project. Sometimes it takes the first fall of the day to wake me up and let me focus on a good send. This year's summer project is a route called Lost Horizons. It's been a real physical and mental battle. The route builds in difficulty as you move up the wall with big fall potential, tenuous body positions, and spanny movements on small holds with bad feet. At first, the route seemed impossible for me, but with some effort and time, I have become optimistic and confident that I could do it. I love the feeling of starting my day after a morning of climbing. Climbing gives me a lot of energy and patience, which I bring into my work. When work days run into nights, I make the sacrifice to put in the extra time so I can get away another morning during the week. It's rewarding to know that I can juggle my demanding job and still push my limits in climbing. The enjoyment I get from this challenge inspires me to push myself harder. Lost Horizons is now my third 514. This achievement means a lot to me. Not because of the grade, but because of what it means to send something so challenging and difficult for me. This send has definitely increased my confidence for what I can accomplish next. The victory cone. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. yeah.